Welcome to this Angular tutorial and we're going to show you how to build an Angular project really quickly and simply using the Angular CLI. The prerequisites are you need to have Node installed, preferably higher than version 8, and also NPM. Here's the cli.angular.io website and what you can see, what you need to do is you've already got Node installed, you've already got NPM installed, what you need to do is run npm install minus g at angular forward slash cli. That will give you the ng command to run. Open the terminal or console if you're in Mac, Linux or Windows, they all have a terminal or a console. They might call it something slightly differently. I'm on a Mac and we call it terminal. Go to the directory where you would like to create a folder that has your project. So I'm in the downloads directory and all I need to run now is ng new and the name of the project and folder and the Angular CLI command will build the project for me and create the folder. I will call this Angular demo and I hit enter. Then it's going to ask me some questions. Would I like to add routing? You can say yes or no and if you say no you can always add it later. If you say yes you can always remove it but for now I think it's best to say yes. And then the next question is what style sheets you would like. SCSS is, is really nice and it's the recommended one to use. And you can still write CSS in it. It will now run its commands, it will download the files it needs and it will create the directory and create the project. Once it's stopped running it means it's complete and I can now navigate into the directory that it has the same name that we created. So we can go Angular Demo and then in this directory you will have the, all the Angular files. If you've got VS Code installed you can run the command code dot, which means VS Code open the current directory as a project. And here you can see I've got VS Code running and these are the files. But before we get to this, let's head back to the terminal and let me show you how you can get the project running. Before we make any changes to any of the files, let's just make sure the project runs. npm start, which underneath will run the ng serve command. If you want to see the details, you can look in package.json in the root of the project and it will show you what commands are available to you. Now it's running. I'm going to go back to the browser and open on localhost 4200. This is what you'll have. Angular creates an example project for you and this is the HTML code and CSS code that it has. If we go back to VS Code, let's remove all that and let's put our own code in. So we open app and then there's app component HTML. By double clicking that we open it here and we can remove all this CSS and HTML because it's the example code. So if I control A or command A, depending on which computer you're on, and delete all that, and then just type hello world, hit save, go back to the browser, it will automatically reload itself, and you'll see it says hello world. So if we add some HTML around it, we'll put a H1 tag around it, and if I hit save again, go back to the browser, it automatically reloads. The reason why I'm showing you this is to show you that you don't need to put inline styles in that HTML file. There is a specific file to put your styles in. So if I go back to the VS Code, you will see this is the HTML file that we were working on. But next to that, as a sibling file, we have app component scss or just .css if that's what you chose before. So in here, we could put h1, just normal CSS. We don't have to always use the scss. Uh, functionality and we can say Americans color spelling a color blue and if I hit save and go back to the browser you can see now it's blue so we know that the app is working and you can go and put your HTML and CSS in there if you want to get fancy and you want to use some pre pre-built items you can use angular material and it's really nice you get these cards and you get some examples and then you get, uh, you get buttons, you get fonts, you get these cards, you get toolbars, you get side navigation, badges, buttons, chips, all sorts of things. 